It was a very stormy day at sea, and something unusual was happening under the waves. As the sea calmed down, a huge bubble drop floated above the sea. Big bubble drop floated over fields and houses, dripping as it floated, on a mission somewhere for a very important reason. And finally landed in a field next to a tree. For a moment, nothing happened to the big bubble drop. And then an opening appeared and inside there was a yellow and pink room. Suddenly, a small bubble drop jumped out with the letter A on his tummy. His name was Bubble A. All the other bubble drops stayed inside because it wasn't their turn to go outside on a special mission. Bubble A knew that the big bubble drop had landed in a field for a reason and there must be something somewhere which had a name starting with letter A that would need his help. But Bubble A couldn't think why. There was nothing he could see, just fields and a tree. All he knew was that he was standing next to a tree, but he knew that tree begins with T. It doesn't begin with A. There must be something somewhere that needs my help, he thought. So he sat down quietly to think. Very soon along came a grumpy caterpillar. Do you have a problem? Can I help? said Bubble A. Well, the fruit isn't juicy. Uh, uh, I've got a tummy ache. Uh, but my name begins with C, not A, he said as he looked up. Can't stop. Must be on my way. Just then, a pretty yellow bird landed on Bubble A's hand. Do you have a problem? Can I help? said Bubble A. I, I'm a bird and my name begins with B, not A. And then he flew off merrily chirping. If I can be of assistance, any assistance whatsoever, just whistle. Sorry I can't stay. He had almost given up hope when along came a wise walk-in watering can. Do you have a problem? Can I help? said Bubble A. He chuckled to himself and said kindly, <laughs> My name begins with W, but, um, said the watering can, there's something in the tree above your head that begins with A. <laughs> What's that? said Bubble A. As he looked up, he could see an apple. It was difficult to see the apple because it was small and green the same colour as the tree. <laughs> it needs a uh, watering uh, uh, to change into a lovely juicy tasty red apple, said the wise wobbling a water can. It was at that moment that Bubble A knew exactly what to do and he quickly turned upside down above the watering can and filled it to the brim with bubble drop water. He then puckered up his mouth and whistled very loudly. The yellow bird quickly flew back and helped the watering can to get to the top of the tree so that the tree could be totally watered. And when he had finished, it was clear that it was not just one apple on the tree, but too many to count, and they were all now beautifully round and red and full of juice. Bubble A got back into the bubble drop 
and could not resist a final look at all the apples as he floated over the countryside. He was so proud of his mission. And with that, Big Bubble Drop floated back to the sea and dived in with a huge splash to a secret place far below the ocean. Once inside the Big Bubble Drop, Bubble A opened his pocket and pulled out lots of rosy, juicy apples for them all to share. He told the other Bubble Drops about his adventure. They couldn't wait until it was their turn to go outside on a special mission. One day soon. Boing, 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 boing. Mm -hmm.